Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. This is Son of Mini, one of the devices that fully supports the new version of Son of DIY mode, the 2.0. The 2.0 promised much more streamlined experience and ability to use it on devices without hardware modifications. All great, but let's uh, look at the details and see what has changed and how much the Son of DIY uh, improved. If you follow my channel, you probably know that I've talked in a harsh words about Son of DIY when it came out, and there is a video there for you. A lot of that criticism still applies, so let's take a look at the Son of 2.0 DIY edition and let's see what changed. First of all, you do not have to open the device and change the physical switch by moving a jumper across. That's a great benefit because Son of uh, DIY mode 2.0 promises to work on all devices as long as they are on a 3.5 version of the firmware without any physical switches. Now the problem with this statement is at the time of this video there are only a couple of devices mm -hmm. supported and they all come with a physical switch. So you have your a Son of Basic R3 and your Son of Mini. It's disappointing to hear that the lineup is so small, but with time I hope there's going to be more and more devices. Now the second improvement, which is, uh, I don't know why they haven't started this way, was the way you pair your devices. If you remember 1.4 version, you would have to create an artificial hotspot, download the something on your computer and use that tool via that hotspot to actually send credentials over and connect to the sound properly, which is just an insane idea. Thankfully, right now this is fixed. It's all streamlined and it's very easy. Just hold the button for 5 seconds, get the device into a compatible pairing mode, which it will broadcast AP you can connect to. Now once connected, navigate to the URL shown on the screen and you'll be able to submit your Wi-Fi credentials. That's it, the whole process honestly takes less than a minute to actually get the device and start using it with no red home assistant or any other rest enable interface. What haven't changed is the fact that once you switch over to DIY mode, you are removing a device from Ewilink app and you're losing that part of the connectivity. So all your voice setup with smart assistant is not going to apply on to devices in a DIY mode. This is slightly disappointing because after playing with uh, switches from Shelly, I was able to use the smart uh, assistants, their app and cloud connectivity and the rest API at the same time. But if you're not ready to actually leave Ewilink behind, you can look at this video which will explain how to use Ewilink API to control your son of devices or all Ewilink devices from Node-RED and retain the Ewilink smart connectivity including voice assistants. There is an updated version of the Son of DIY mode uh, API protocol. As I can see, the 2.0 protocol applied to devices with firmware 3.50. Uh, and I think uh, with a younger firmware, it's going to be referring to 1.4 API protocol. Now, for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you can uh, just uh, link up the device and I'll show you how to do it. And there's a couple of things that are missing. For example, there's no information about uh, which port you should use, etc. However, uh, I'm going to give you that information in an old red flow itself. So let's jump into the old red and I'll show you how it works. Uh, first of all, you can obtain the information by sending a uh, empty, well, it's almost empty payload. And let's uh, take a look at this function because I've included everything in here. So I've mentioned the port port is 8081 to interact with son of device and then obviously your IP for that son of device. Um, variable mode is what is storing the end of the each URL and if you scroll down you'll see this is how I compose the URL itself. So it takes the IP then port number then this uh, prefix which is zero config and then uh, that mode to complete the path. So you'll see that the different modes are, uh, requires in here, are required in here for different options. So I've included them. If you want to use it, just comment out the one you don't need and uncomment one the one you want to use like this. I'm not going to apply these settings. Now, when you issue the payload uh, to obtain all the values in here, so for this information, the payload is empty. So you have device ID empty and the data empty. Now, if you want to submit or switch all the data, you just use different types of payloads. And I've listed the payloads 
in here so you can use them uh, for your advantage. Now, so how would you uh, control this on of on and off? Uh, well, you could uh, take a look at a, a small modification. I've just introduced the state variable in here, which is just my message payload. And uh, in the payload type, which is responsible for changing the state of the uh, son of mini, uh, I just submitted that variable in here. So that way I can just simply, let me just clear that up. I can just simply turn the light on and turn the light off. How quick it is? The changes are applied within a half a second, which is reasonably quick. And for the most part, it works without any problems. Who is going to benefit from a Sonoff DIY 2.0 mode the most? If you are going to use MQTT or looking into adding extra sensors, you can take advantage of this mode to flash Tasmota because you can enable flashing OTA and then you can push that bin uh, directly to the son of device without the need for extra cables. Now, if you, however, don't plan on adding anything extra to your son of devices, you can get it up and running within a couple of seconds with your node red and start enjoying the local access via a REST API. Let me know in the comments if it's enough to stop you from flashing Tasmota, even if you're not going to take advantage of extra functions like adding sensors or using MQTT. I'm really interested what your take is on the son of DIY 2.0. As for now guys, if you want to get notifications about my content, not just uh, YouTube videos because you probably know how YouTube works, follow me on the social media of your choice and you'll get the notification when I have a new article out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye! Bye.